Overclocking a CPU or processor may sound like a daunting task, but it can actually be quite simple and safe. This guide is going to focus on the i5-9600K processor, but it can also be used as an outline for any other CPU. To get into the BIOS when your PC is on, click Restart. If your PC is off, turn it on and hold the key that gets into the BIOS. This is typically F2 or F11. If you're unsure, hold down both. The BIOS will look different depending on your motherboard brand and model, but all of them should have a way to get to your CPU clock speed. If you see a button that says Advanced, click that first. Note that if you don't have an Intel CPU with a K after it, you won't be able to overclock, but all AMD CPUs are overclockable. There may be a button that says OC or Overclock. Click that. If not, look around for a page with something that says CPU Ratio. Here we will change the CPU Ratio. But before we start overclocking, check if there is something that says OC Mode or OC Explore Mode. It is usually at the top. Change this to Expert or whatever the most advanced level is. To begin the overclock, click on the CPU Ratio Mode and turn it. Now click on the CPU Ratio. If this value can't be changed by clicking and typing on the box, chances are your CPU or motherboard does not support overclocking. If you do not have an i5-9600K, look up on Google what a typical overclock speed for your CPU is. For the i5-9600K, start with 48. Next, click an Exit or X button. Then, Save and Exit. Confirm your changes and your PC will restart. Don't be alarmed if your fan gets really fast all of a sudden when booting. That won't be the case after another restart or two. If your PC crashes and has the blue screen of death, go back and turn down your CPU ratio. Assuming that your PC is booted to Windows, you are going to want some kind of stress test for the CPU. For this video, I'm going to use Cinebench R23. To begin the stress test, go into Cinebench, go to the top left and click on File, then Advanced Benchmark. Go down to below the start buttons and choose the test duration 30 minutes, which will test stability. If you did not complete the 30 minutes, go back to the BIOS and turn the CPU ratio down. If you completed the 30 minutes, go back to the BIOS and try turning it up by 1. The i5-9600 can typically go to 50 or slightly above, but make sure that each time you go up, you test it in Cinebench. Once it becomes unstable and crashes, turn it down 1 to 2 below the previous stable ratio for a stable experience that should improve your PC's performance safely and easily. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and consider subscribing for more content.